The diagram shows a pyramid on a square base A, B, A, B, C, D. With diagonals AC, AC, and BD meeting at F, and the vertex E is directly above F. The sloping edges of the pyramid are 5 centimetres. These are the sloping edges. Calculate the, pyramid, uh, the per perpendicular height EF of the pyramid. So what we're going to do is calculate this height here. Okay, the secret of doing 3D trig is to be able to draw out a 2D uh, trig diagram and then apply normal trigonometry to that. So there's my diagram. So what I'm going to do is, because I want to calculate this height here, I'm going to consider this triangle. So, so drawing that in, that's a triangle BFE. Then you should try to draw it out separately and mark on the lengths that you have. This is 3 centimetres and this is 5 centimetres. And we now have to calculate the length EF. So by Pythagoras, Pythagoras, sorry, EF squared is equal to BE squared minus FB squared. Why is it minus? Because this side is the, one of the shorter sides. Pythagoras theorem says this side, squ this, the square on this side plus the square on this side is it equal to the square on the longest side or the hypotenuse of, of a right angle triangle. But this time we're trying to find the length on a smaller side. So therefore it's going to be the larger side squared minus the smaller side squared. So it's going to be 5 squared minus 3 squared. 5 squared is 25 and 3 squared is 9. 25 minus 9 is 16. That just gives me the area of the square on that side. So therefore I need to take the square root of that. So the square root of 16 is equal to... 4 centimetres. So the height of the pyramid is 4 centimetres. Now we need to calculate the angle between the sloping edge and the base of the pyramid. Now the sloping edge is one of these here. It's not this all of this, this is a sloping base. This is a sloping edge between the base of the pyramid. So that's going to be, considering the same triangle we just did, the angle that we want to find is this one here. Again, drawing it out. Uh, using this one, which is 3, and this one, which is 5, we could put in 4 here, but it's better to use the information we were given in the question. Labelling the sides, this is the angle I want to find. So labelling the sides, this is adjacent, because it's next to the angle, and this is the hypotenuse, because it's on the longest side of the right angle triangle. So using Sokotoa, which one of the of these three ratios do we need to use? So we've got adjacent hypotenuse angle, so that's going to be CAH. So write out the right, the trig identity that we need. So cos theta is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So cos theta will be the adjacent side, which is 3, divided by 5. In order to find the angle theta we need to do cos to the minus 1 of 3 over 5 so go to your calculator make sure your calculator is in degree mode and then you'll get an answer of 53.13 degrees and then a final answer of 53.1 degrees to three significant figures okay so this has been a video to show you how to find um, the height and an angle that the edge makes with the square base of a pyramid I hope you have understood and I thank you very much for watching.